Installing a new screen protector on the Note 8. Step one, have all your stuff ready that you're gonna be using, screen protector, glue, and the lamp. Make sure you have uh, either one of those lamps with a battery or you have a uh, USB cable to connect it. Number two, you have to isolate the little speaker grill over here. Otherwise, glue might get in there and gonna blo uh, block your uh, speaker. This is how we're gonna um, isolate the little speaker. I'm gonna take a uh, piece of the um, guide sticker over here that's in the package. Make sure we get the right size so it doesn't look to me like the width will be enough to cover the speaker grill. So we're gonna cut a little piece of the sticker just a bit bigger than its width. Yeah, that looks fine enough for me. And we are going to block, cover, glue the little hole. Perfect. Yeah. That we've isolated the speaker grill, we are ready to proceed with the installation. First, you open your uh, little package that came with the set. You find the alcohol pad. Put this aside, we're not gonna need it right now. Clean the screen well. Make sure you get off all the dirt from the edges, the middle. You should have a clean screen, otherwise, some dust that's gonna stay there will be stuck underneath your screen protector, and you don't want it to be stuck with you for the next few months. Alright, when the alcohol part is done, we get our dry tissue. Make sure we wipe the screen well until it's nice and shiny. I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. And now we're going to make sure there is no little dust left on the screen, so we're gonna use this little dust absorber. When you do it is you tap the screen. Don't uh, touch this little sticker over here because it's gonna come off. Go from top to bottom. If you see some little dust, just attack it directly. All right, this looks good to me. Just to make sure that you guys notice, there is quite a noticeable scratch in the middle of the screen, which is why we're installing the screen protector to make it less noticeable. Okay, we are ready now for the glue part. So we grab our little glue, cut away the tip. All right, set it aside for a second. I've noticed one little dust particle has fallen on the screen. Make sure we remove all of that. All the small particles that we don't want. Yeah, double check. All right, might be just a little scratch actually. So we're gonna see how that resists our screen protector magic. All right, now that we have that out of the way, we are going to pour all the content of this little bottle into the middle of the screen. That's a lot. Okay. If there's a few drops left in there, maybe we can need them for the edges later, so keep that in mind. 
done here. One thing I've forgotten is to put a napkin underneath the phone because sometimes it drains over, so we're gonna try to fix that now. Okay, now that we have a napkin under the phone, we can proceed with installing the screen protector. And just for me, it's a little bit easier when I tilt the phone this way. So, I'll remove the screen protector. Peel off, peel off the back plastic. And we align it as good as we can with the edges of the foam. And we just let it go and let it sit into place. We can easily adjust the position of the screen protector with our fingers so that it doesn't go too up or too down. Just slowly let the glue do its work. It's spreading. Sometimes it could take up to 30 seconds for it to spread completely. Just make sure you let it do that by itself. Don't push it. You can see it's almost all spread. The only little corner that is giving us a little bit of trouble is the one down here. For that, we may just need to use a couple of extra drops which we were mentioning earlier. So when you give it that little squeeze, it's gonna push out some of the leftover glue here. You may have to adjust it a little bit so that it just, no. Well, now we've run into our first problem and that's a little bubble. That is a bit hard to deal with but we will try to push it out looks like today we were successful in that we had to move the screen a little bit and hopefully that did not us did not affect us in any way I'm just gonna give it an extra drop in here to make sure nothing is missing there we go so I think we are positioned well, so it looks to me like we can proceed to curing it. Yeah, grab our lamp, connect it, double check one more time that it all looks good. You can wipe a little bit of the excess glue because we don't want this to harden and to give us trouble later. Well, it looks to me like went a little bit down okay and we can start curing it Start at the bottom, slowly move towards the top. You may have to use 20-30 seconds in one spot, then move to the next spot, 20-30 seconds, move to the next one, and repeat that for maybe one, two, three minutes if you want. Continue curing the phone screen with the ultraviolet light until you feel like it's enough. So 30 seconds per spot, keep moving. I like to also cure the edges. I'm lucky to own a couple of these lamps so I can use two of them simultaneously to speed up the process. And I like to go here 
towards the edges and cure the glue here as well so it doesn't later uh, peel off. We've been experiencing some of the um, weaker glues which work with the fingerprint sensors in the S10, Note 10 and um, OnePlus 7 uh, to um, get loose with time and create little air bubbles so we don't want that to happen with us. I'm gonna cure it really well with the lamp all around. If it's a nice sunny day you could leave the phone also in the sun because the sun is the biggest ultraviolet uh, emittent lamp you can find. <coughs> And okay, once you're done uh, curing the uh, glue with the ultraviolet light, you can remove this little protection here. Wipe the phone around the edges for some uh, residue glue. This glue is very oily and uh, quite messy, so make sure you give it a nice... I tried to clean it up, but this glue is very, very oily and very messy, so I use one cloth with a little bit of uh, alcohol in it, which helps remove all of the little stains from the glue. And we are going to look at the result now. Remember that big deep scratch that we used to see in the screen of the phone? You can see now where it begins and it suddenly just disappears. It is nowhere to be found anywhere under any angle. Same goes to the little marks over here in the top of the screen, a little mark over there. So you have yourself something that looks like a brand new phone. You who had the patience to wait uh, 10 minutes, we have the result ready right now and we can notice this scratch right over here. It began right over there, you can see it and went all the way through the screen now is nowhere to be found under any angle. So this is why I call it the magic screen protector because it literally makes all the scratches go away. The small mark up in here we could see earlier some small mark in there all completely gone vanished. And you have yourself a glass screen protector to protect it against any damage, falls and whatever you can put your phone through.